In just under seven days, we will be getting the biggest update to date in LEGO Fortnite called Lost Isles. And today, I'm gonna help you guys prepare so you're ready for anything when it comes to this brand new jungle island that we will all be venturing into. But right behind us over here is a chest, and currently this chest is empty, but by the end of today's video, this chest is gonna contain everything that I'm predicting will be an important item when it comes to the Lost Isles update. Oh yeah, and uh, I just made all of these before I started recording, so this is the first thing that we'll talk about. Because dropping these off, you'll see that we made two different types of charms. I'm sure you guys are already aware, but what I made is the regeneration charm and the totem of return. First off, the regeneration charm is just the best charm in the game. As you can see, it regenerates health over time. And then for those of us who are going to be playing the brand new update inside of expert mode, definitely make yourself a totem of return. You'll thank yourself later. But charms are just one of the many things on our checklist today of things you need to do and acquire before the next update. And if you are caught up, Lego Fortnite just sent creators like myself packages to hype up the update. They're also getting content creators from all across YouTube to promote the update with short videos, as well as leaking a ton of teasers themselves. So there's honestly just a lot going on. And my goal is to make sure you guys are completely up to date on all things new. And if you always want to stay up to date, subscribe anyway today we're starting out very basic and then as we get further into this video we'll talk more specifically about things that might be coming to the game but are all currently speculations and like i said starting out basic we have to talk about tools i actually just went ahead and crafted up two brand new pickaxes with triple damage and then i also made myself two long swords that also have triple damage on them and again depending on your play style it might affect what you decide to upgrade your tools with on the essence table for me personally i like to be able to farm things as fast as possible and that's why triple damage works for me but it might not work for you and then a triple damage sword is important because we are going to be getting a lot of new enemies like i mentioned earlier about the charms and the triple damage sword is undoubtedly the best weapon in all of lego fortnite and the test was very simple all i wanted to do was see the damage outputs of both of these weapons so as you can see on screen 18 damage is what you'll get if you swing a triple damage sword at a skeleton and then if you take out a lightsaber and hit the same skeleton you'll only do 11 damage not only that though it gets crazier when you add in jump critical attacks because a jump critical attack would the triple damage sword will do 36 damage and taking out the lightsaber again and doing a jump critical attack you'll only get 22 damage and here's my live reaction to finding that out yeah i was a little disappointed so definitely make sure you make a triple damage sword if you want to deal the most damage to whatever enemies lie before us in this new update it's what i'm going to be doing you don't got to take my advice but i would suggest it now this is cast from the future because we just got a few teasers on lego fortnite's twitter account for lost isles the most recent one is this one here which actually came out 16 minutes ago at the time of recording it says this fish has no right to look so cuddly and that is what we're looking at uh i don't know how cuddly that fish really looks but it's a jellyfish nonetheless and that's very interesting because at the moment we do have some slurp fish in the game that you can fish out i'm not sure if they're adding more fish in that way or if this is something completely different i guess we'll just have to wait and see either way though if that is a thing that's in the game make sure you make a fishing rod before the update the next teaser we got also came out today and it says sounds delightful and relaxing 9 17 24 which is the day of the update Update. and there's not much substance to this one from what i could tell it literally just looks like the fast travel battle bus and a teaser that we got yesterday says mm, sounds delicious 9 17 24 and yet again there's another image that says enjoy the new delicacies that will expand your palate this is likely in reference to the new foods like clon berries and then maybe bananas coconuts and other foods that might be on the new island along with that you're also seeing the chest once again usually the ingredients that go into making a chest come from the biome that they're specifically a part of for that reason i feel like we won't be able to really craft these chests until we get our hands on those new items so once again make sure you're just crafting up some tools so you're ready to harvest everything on the jungle island now the next thing you're going to need to do before the brand new update is use code kaz you might think i'm joking and uh, actually i kind of am you don't have to use code kaz but i'm going to stand on my prediction that they are going to release a brand new lego set to the item shop as well with this new update so if you're buying any lego cosmetics it would help me out if you use code kaz three letters k-a-z now for the last of the very basic things that i'm going to tell you guys you need to make before the update we have to talk about the axe. It's the last tool we have to talk about, and for good reason. As you can see on screen here, this is a screenshot from a YouTube short from Trent the Traveler. Trent is a travel YouTuber, but he did post some teasers for the new LEGO Fortnite update. And with his content, he dropped what probably is one of the best looks into what the jungle biome can look like inside of LEGO Fortnite, although it's not confirmed. I don't know where else this art would have come from, especially because LEGO Fortnite definitely approved the post before it went live. You know, I'd have to imagine that they probably provided him with this art artwork 
works. So it's safe to assume that this is a solid look into what the jungle biome could look like once again. And like I said, for that reason, not only did I make an axe, I also gave it triple damage. You know, there's going to be a lot of trees in the jungle and I like to take them down as quick as possible. So that's why I like triple damage. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Use whatever you'd like. I know a lot of people like using luck on their axes and I don't disagree with that. I think it's also a fine move, but either way, we're going to go ahead and drop it into our chest. We're filling it up with all of our goodies. And as you can see, we already have quite a bit filled out. I honestly might end up needing a bigger chest, but we'll see. Anyway, the next thing we need to discuss comes from a YouTuber by the name of Dan TDM. If you guys have been following the channel, you'll know that I already talked about this a little bit, but I'm talking about it for a different reason today. If you're not clued in, here is his YouTube short that he made recently showing off the brand new Lego Fortnite update. Cause like I said, Lego was on a crazy run of getting YouTubers to promote this update. But getting to the end of this short, you can see that there's a pretty nice teaser, which shows a clombo egg and also what looks to be some clomberries. Now the egg nor clomberries are currently in the game. So there's not much you can prepare for on that end other than getting some soil and some fertilizer. I've been getting it from my compost bin, but get it however you want because you're going to need some garden plots for what I'm going to talk about next. And long story short, you're going to need some sort of farm, but that's boring. And I don't want to just leave you with that. You know, there's a few different farms that you can use. First off, we have the automated farm, which has been going very viral within this game's community recently. If you don't know, the balloons inside of this game can destroy any crop. So you can go ahead and automate your farm that way. But what I'm going to talk about is actually taking it a step further and credit to Moonlighter for this one. He's been on the channel before and he's an excellent builder, but he found this very cool farming technique that I'm going to go ahead and try for the first time right now. I honestly don't even know if this will work, but we're going to do it together and see. So essentially all we'll need for this is a thruster so that we can get a sideways garden plot. So we're going to go ahead over here and grab a garden plot now, snap it up against the thruster and then drop it down into the grass. And after you put one into the ground, you're not going to stop there because you're just going to continue to keep Keep stacking these garden plots on top of one another like this while they're on their side. And there's a reason we're doing this, which I'll show you in a second. And I believe, okay, yes, we have seeds in our inventory. You're definitely going to need some seeds for this. I'd imagine that clawberry seeds are also going to be a thing, which is why I'm showing you this gardening method. But essentially what you're going to need to do when the update drops is grab some clawberries, go ahead and open up your garden plot. And then it's very simple. All you got to do is throw a grain or seed inside of a sideways garden plot, and it'll immediately pop out the end resource you get from planting that seed. And in case you still are following, I brought three more seeds with me. So we'll go ahead and drop the pumpkin one in. As you can see, it gives us a pumpkin. We'll drop a chillberry seed in and we'll get the chillberry. And we'll drop the slapberry seed in and instantly get ourselves a slapberry. Overall, this is just a quick and effective way to instantly farm your seeds without having to wait around for anything to grow. I definitely try it out and maybe make a mental note that this does in fact exist because it might help you with some clomberries in the future. But next, we have to talk more broad in terms of the update because right now there's four main biomes in the game. We have the the grasslands, the dry valley, the frostlands, and the shore biome. Now, my speculation is that with this new update, not only will we have a fifth biome, but we'll also have a new upgrade path, which will require us to collect new resources and exchange them with our village hub in order to upgrade our jungle villages. And with jungle villages, to some extent, I'm sure that we'll be required to use some of the resources that already exist in the game. Most likely, it'll be things like copper, ruby, amber, maybe some malachite slabs, some iron, and you know, just those types of resources that you get from grinding in different biomes. I'm sure along with that, there's going to be some specific resources to the jungle biome that you'll have to go out and collect, which is why you have the tools. But for the purpose of signifying that we will need some resources from our world, I'm going to go ahead and put one obsidian slab in the chest and also some soil. I honestly just don't think it's too crazy of a prediction to go out there and say that we will be getting a brand new biome and we will probably have a new upgrade path. You guys all know what it already looks like. If you go over to your village hub, we have all of these very useful perks that we get as we upgrade our villages. We also get more villager slots and and of course, we do get rewards like brand new builds, which makes me think maybe we're also getting a brand new free build in this update. Who knows? There's just so much on the horizon and I'm so, so excited. Guys, drop a like if you're excited for Lost Isles. But we're not done because the next thing we're going to talk about is actually going back to the screenshot that we already took a look at. As you can see from the screenshot from Trent the Traveler, once again, there are some rocks floating in the sky. It's very on brand with Fortnite because they do that sort of thing all the time in Battle Royale. But when they do floating islands and other things like that, they usually add some some sort of mobility to help you get up to those floating islands. I'd imagine there may be some sort of geysers under them or a zip line or something of the sorts. So to make sure you're prepared, I would craft as many different mobility items as you can. The things I'm talking about off the bat are obviously things like the glider and the grappler. As you can see over here in my storage room, I believe it's the, yeah, this chest here has all of my grapplers. So I have some extras and I'm definitely going to be using a lot more. So make sure you got some blast core, some cord, and of course some copper bars so you can craft as many grapplers as your heart desires. I'm going to be making a lot more 
over the coming days. And for that reason, I'll go ahead and deposit one fresh grappler into our chest that we're gonna go ahead and continue to build up. It doesn't end there with mobility though. There's so many more mobility items in the game, including things like a launch pad. So if you have these resources at your disposal, definitely make some launch pads as well. It'll help you traverse around the jungle biome. But at the end of the day, all of the mobility that I've talked about so far is pretty cool, but nothing is gonna compare to the next mobility item that I have to talk about. And that is gonna be coming from the brand new fast travel and the bus stations inside of Lego Fortnite. I'm depositing some rift shards into my chest because if you don't know, you can find bus stations all around your world. They're naturally generated. And if you simply just move in lines around your world, you will find bus stations. They're typically spread around 2,000 to 3,000 meters apart. But yes, I would definitely farm some bus stations so you got some rift shards to your disposal so you can build them around your brand new island when it comes to the game. Now, it wouldn't be a proper preparation video if I didn't talk a little bit about what foods you guys should be making. And obviously in my hand, I have the pizza, which is probably the best food in the game for hunger. But coming into my little kitchen, as you can see, we have all sorts of foods laid out around here. Chillberry shakes are obviously very, very good since you consume them in two seconds and they do full hearts. Some other foods worth noting are definitely going to be the butter cakes here because if you didn't know, butter cake was the code name for Clombo before he actually came into Battle Royale. This came out a few updates ago. It's a new food item and I feel like there's still something here. Maybe it'll be something to do with the brand new jungle update. I honestly don't know. These foods just feel like such a random addition to the game and I've been saying that for so long. For that reason, I feel like, you know, you might as well just craft a few of them just in case you need them for something. Whether it's to trade with Colombo, whether it's to befriend them, I have no idea. But butter cakes are, to my knowledge, the newest food item in the game, so I would go ahead and craft a few because if you know, you know. But ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for me today. I don't want to hold you guys too long. Just want to give you guys a little bit of advice on how to prepare for Lost Isles. Again, subscribe for all things Lost Isles. I will be daily uploading and maybe double uploading when the update drops. You don't want to miss any of it. Drop a like if you found this video helpful and comment your favorite thing that you've seen so far out of Lost Isles. What are you most excited for? Let me know down below. But it's been your boy Kaz. Thank you so, so much for watching. All the way until the end, I'll catch y'all later. Peace.